Right, how do we organize layouts within Primavera? Well, here we have a layout, and this particular layout is the standard layout with the Gantt chart over there. We have the details at the bottom, and we have the entry table on the left-hand side. We've already scheduled this project. Notice the tabs on the bottom will give you the detail, the microscopic view, the detail view of the whatever you choose on top. You'll see, for example, that particular task, all the detail. Okay. Now, what if I want to start customizing that view over there? Okay. If I want to start customizing that view, um, I will pull that to the right, and I have already added budget and total cost, which isn't normally part of that particular table, but I'm going to show you how to add actual cost as well. So here we go. I'm reducing the size of the columns, right-clicking there, going down to columns, and there we have a whole lot of things we can add. We would expand costs, and I'm going to go to actual total cost, and I'm going to throw it across into this view. There we go. It's thrown across, and then I'm going to move it down. So I'm moving it down now. There we go. And I'm going to click OK. Notice it actually appears. There are no actual costs, but it does appear, albeit 000, but it does appear on the right hand side there. So I've customized that view. All right, these are particular layouts that I'm organizing for my Primavera work. All right. Now, if I want to customize that part as well, I right click in that area and I can add certain tabs to the detail panel. You'll see the tabs, general status, resources, etc. I can add other tabs. I'm not going to do that now, but I could have. All right. Look at the tabs across the top there, but that's because I'm that far with the project. I've got resources and resource assignments and so forth. So how do we view our layouts? There's our layout. I'm going to show on the bottom a different view, and that's going to be the resource usage view with a resource graph. And the resource graph is showing me how much work the artisan is doing on those two days, Monday and Tuesday. All right, with both budgeted and uh, uh, remaining early units. I've now clicked on the builder, and the builder is now evident too. All right, so that's a particular view. What if I want to save that layout? I like that layout. Okay, I want to save that layout. I'll go save layout as. All right, and I'm going to name it after my very own self. All right, you can name it whatever you want to. Okay, remember we were on the classic schedule layout, albeit it was slightly customized with those two columns I added. I'm going to make this available to this particular project. So it's in-house for this particular project. Okay, and save it. There we go. Now, what do I do if I want to um, see the different layouts? There we go. I'm looking at different layouts and open layout. There I am down below this project, this particular view. That's incredible. I've saved this particular view, which is pretty cool.